questions. Hi everyone and welcome back to this edition of Thriving 3, a brief conversation about thriving in life and in business. And today I have the pleasure of welcoming Tessa Richter. Hi Tessa. Hi Lois, nice to be here. Great, I'm so glad that you are here. Please will you tell our viewers a little bit about yourself? Okay, so my name is Tessa Richter. Uh, I live in Switzerland. I was born in the UK and I grew up all over the world, but landed in Switzerland. Uh, I'm currently coaching executives, highly trained specialists, um, creatives and professionals um, who are facing either a, a career change, job loss or health issues. Much needed. Um, uh, <laughs> yes. And what qualifies me is I have a background of a first career as a uh, performing musician on a uh, performing on a high international level as a classical musician and so I know all about the stress of performing at top level I've also changed careers several times I ha also had a career as a as an artist a visual artist set up my own business um, training languages in uh, businesses um, yes so that's my background Fascinating career. And what was your musical instrument? Uh, I played the flute. And um, when I stopped performing, because I felt I'd done what I want, set out to do and wanted to do, um, I started composing. And I've um, composed three CDs with my own music. Ah, fascinating. We'll have to go and have a look at it on your website. Yes, do, please. <laughs> have a listen. <laughs> Great. So, Tessa, what is your thriving tip of the day? So my tip is something that sounds quite simple, but is really very profound. And that is loving who you are. Um, I found this um, missing ingredient, if you like, because I mean, I was, you know, I, I was thriving actually um, with everything I've described. And then I got seriously ill a few years ago and um, I'd learned to turn inward and listen to myself. And the message was, you've learned to love others unconditionally, but not yourself. So then I thought, well, what does that mean? You know, and in fact, the hard part is loving, not just myself as a person, but everything that it entails. In other words, the situation I'm in, the relationships I'm in, the, um, uh, conditions I've created in my life having lots or no or little money or you know everything that's part of my life that is also included and I found this to be a very very powerful tool uh, one of the very powerful tools to heal myself because that's also been like besides my artistic um, and you know um, business endeavors I've also had a, a healing thread in my life if you like and the combination and in fact I found the the deep connection between living who I am living my potential and health and well-being that's a very strong connection and that's why I combine the two love who you are find out who you are and life will always take you to new um, territories, exploring more of who you are and learning to love who you are more. This never ends while we're here. <laughs> well, that is definitely not simple. So can you give us one simple tip on how we can start that process of self-love? Okay, yes, I can. Uh, indeed. Uh, one thing I found that is easy for most people is to think of somebody you love unconditionally. And this can also be an animal if you don't have, you know, anybody in your life currently. Or it can be somebody you, you used to know, it doesn't matter. And just really feel that deep, deep, deep love, unconditional love. Often for children, we have that. And once you, if, 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 if it helps also put your hand on your heart this can also help to feel that part of you and then fill yourself up with that love close your eyes and then once you're full kind of feel how that energy that love energy kind of um 
turns back on you and envelops you. And most people can really feel that. Wow, hey, thank you. I'll definitely do a bit of that, that work on myself. <laughs> thank you, Tessa. Hi, everyone. I'm Lois from Coaching Conversations for Change. And please join us again tomorrow for another Thrive in Three. Thank you so lovely much, Tessa. Yeah, lovely <laughs> to be here. Bye. Thank you. Bye.